Turn our attention now to cyber crimes that remain the biggest threat to businesses in South Africa. And uh, you're going to take a closer look at that, Yuveka. Yes, Jeremy. And let's see how we're faring when it comes to that. What are our concerns? Well, that's according to the Allianz Risk Barometer for 2020. Uh, that's our, our, our preoccupation with cyber crime. Let's find out what businesses can do to protect themselves. Joining us is Nobushle Nkosi. She's from Allianz Global Corporate and Specialty. Uh, Nobushle, good evening and thanks so much for your time. So the question that's been asked is, is cyber risk really South Africa's top corporate concern, is it? Yes. So every year at Alliance Global Corporate and Speciality, we have a risk dialogue with our clients. So we talk to risk managers around the world. And the question that we always ask them is, what is at the top of your mind? What is keeping you up at night? So this year, the survey had um, over 2,700 respondents in over 100 countries. Uh, but of course, today we're going to focus on, on South Africa. So tell us what you found uh, about South Africa. Is it a top, why is it a top concern? Why aren't we protecting ourselves that we're allowing this to be such a problem for us? So interestingly enough, we do have a new number one in um, the barometer this year, and it's cyber. So cyber is finally from uh, being number 15 seven years ago, it is finally number one globally. In South Africa, cyber has been number one for four years, consecutive years, which shows that this is a real concern for business um, you know, across, across the country. And if you look at um, the, the State of Email Security Report of 2019, it reported that 80%, 84% of organizations in South Africa suffered from phishing attacks. Mm. When you look at ransomware, there was a 19% increase in ransomware. And if you take that down to an industry level, for, with um, the banking sector, it was reported to Sabric that um, there were over 16,000 cybercrime acts just in the banking industry. And the Bush, I would imagine that individuals, often like myself, you know, we don't know much about you know, how to protect ourselves or what it is, but we know not to sort of answer that certain mail. Now, individuals might fall prey to this, but how are corporates, who would imagine would always try to be one step ahead? It's nothing new. Like you say, for four years it's been a concern. So why aren't we ahead of it? Why aren't we? Why don't we have the right things in place? Have you managed to pinpoint that? Yes. In the report, we found that the, t the three top causes of uh, cyber incidents was one, data breaches. Um, the companies are under an immense uh, amount of pressure uh, from data regulators to make sure that as data controllers, they effectively manage data, as we know that data is the new gold. Yeah. So companies yeah. have to be responsible and, and ensure that data, customer data is protected. Mm. The second um, cause was um, ransomware. We've seen um, ransomware attacks making headlines. Is that because of Bitcoin? Everybody wants to be paid in Bitcoin. Yes, that's, okay. you know, that's, that's one of the reasons. Yeah. Um, but it also speaks to the level of um, IT security. So companies need to ensure that they invest um, way more than they're currently doing in IT security. Mm. The third one, interesting enough, is um, employee errors. Mm. So what we found is that um, there's quite an increase in, because of the high reliance on, um, on, on IT, and, and, and business is now online. We are in the digital age. You know, the fourth industrial revolution is upon us. We found that there's quite a lot of human error that um, sometimes leads to technical glitches. So what is that? Unskilled people or people not, people, wrong people in the, in, in the jobs? It's, so it's more an awareness. It's an awareness issue where employees, um, you know, are told that do not click on that attachment if an email is suspicious. You know, do not click on that link. But surprisingly enough, we still see very successful phishing attacks happening. So companies need to make sure that they do invest in ongoing training Awareness. to make sure that employees are aware. Very quickly for us, uh, climate change also one of the, the top concerns. Yes, climate change, one of the top concerns globally and in South Africa as well. Global warming is, is, is something that is very topical. I mean, we've seen, um, we've seen droughts, you know, we've seen uh, catastrophes such as floods. And that also does impact business, particularly from a business interruption perspective, which is number two on the Alliance Risk Barometer. Nabushle, thanks very much. So those are our top concerns in South Africa. It seems we are continuously chasing our tails here.